In this section, we're going to focus on solving formulas. So first of all, a formula is an equation that describes a relationship among quantities that involves at least two different variables. Okay. So in chapter three, we solved lots of equations, but they always just involved a single variable. Here, we're going to look at formulas, which have two variables, but at least at first, what we're going to do is plug in numbers for all but one of those variables. All right, so the first example here says the perimeter of a rectangle is 50 feet. If the length is 15 feet, what is the width? So of course this is referring to the familiar formula P equals 2 times L plus 2 times W. Okay. So right now there are three unknowns, three variables that we see here. But what we're going to do is plug in 50 in place of P for the perimeter and plug in 15 in place of L for the length. And so once we do that, we only have one variable left over and that's something we know how to solve for. So of course I'll do a little bit of simplifying here and get 50 equals 30 plus 2W. And so now this is an equation we can definitely solve. So 50 equals 30 plus 2W. Of course, our first step is to subtract 30 from both sides. So I get 20 is equal to 2W. And then I can divide both sides by 2. Okay. So that, of course, gives me, looks like I'm running down into my next problem here, but that's all right. W equals 10, but we're talking about actual lengths here. And so don't just write W equals 10. Your answer would be W equals 10 feet. Okay. All right, the next example says find X when Y equals 7 in the formula 3x minus 4y equals 14. Okay, so here we write out the formula again, but of course instead of writing y, we place 7 in for y. And then of course we can multiply 4 and 7 to make 28, and then go about isolating x. So we'll add 28 to both sides. So 3x equals, and it looks like we get 42. And I'm running out of room, so I'll go right over here. 3x divided by 3 is equal to 42 divided by 3. So x is equal to 42 divided by 3, which is 14. Okay. 